transformers, cafes, restaurants, bars. It did used to be mainly just a, a marketplace with people's apartments uh, on, on the streets as well. Uh, so we felt we needed a sort of focal point for the marketplace. So we built this in about 1356, we think. Uh, it's actually not its original location. It's been demolished twice and moved. Uh -huh. Its original location was a bit further down the mile, and then got moved to the site of Adam Smith statue in the 1600s, then demolished and put here in 1756, mainly because it was getting in the way now. Uh, we had uh, the stalls were all away, and we had lots of horses and carts coming up and down the mile. So it was kind of getting in the way, so we moved it here. Uh, for that reason, no longer here. Uh, the main reason I'm telling you is just in case that happens, that you're walking past something special. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, it'll be a very close spot. Have a good one. Uh, don't be offended if somebody spits on the ground as you walk. Uh, People spit on this because it's where the prison used to be. Like up here, playing the bagpipes, as you'd expect in Scotland. Amazing buildings around here. Now we're going around the corner to Edinburgh Castle. We're doing a free walking tour. Oh, look through there, the windows. <clears throat> this street was the inspiration to Diagon Alley. We in Edinburgh, we make a, a lot of money from our connection to Harry Potter. Uh, Roland wrote uh, some of the books here, especially for you. There's about 20 different cafes that claim to be the cafes you go to, uh, but she probably did a few different cafes. So more out of goodwill, like buy one coffee to use her a little laptop. Uh, but the, five months ago, I think she tweeted something about how Edinburgh is not necessarily the inspiration that thinks it is for Harry Potter. Which, if true, which I don't think is true, if true, uh, she may have devastated an industry because <laughs> we make a lot of money from our Harry Potter connections. There's lots of gift shops, uh, there's tours you can do, walking tours. Uh, my friends run a, a, a department of magic, which is a Harry Potter bar. You can serve butter beer, and there's an escape room attached to it related to Harry Potter. Uh, I think she's probably just troublemaking. Uh, she seems to enjoy doing that just now. Uh, because there is a lot of Harry Potter connections that are quite obvious. This street is one of them. This is meant to be Diagon Alley. Uh, from Harry Potter. Uh, the, the shop down there, number 40, is a current gift shop. You see people queuing, I think, there's a yeah. picture there. Uh, it used to be Robert Presser's workshop uh, for a long time, 1873 to 2004. He used to sell uh, sleeping brushes or room sets. Uh, Dixon was half hanged because she survived a hanging, and I think that's where the um, inspiration for um, Nick from. Harry Potter. Thomas uh, Riddle Grove here. There. Uh, it's just basically the other side of that wall. If you check on Google Maps, it takes you to the exact location because it's a, this is, there's a place of interest. It's called the path round. It won't take you to eventually. Also here, I'm going to phone up this bit. Uh, there's a grave of a man called William McGonagall. Uh, it's also not William and Harry Potter. But William McGonagall was a poet uh, in Scotland. And Ed, in Edinburgh, he was known as Scotland's worst poet. He wrote terrible, terrible poetry, but made a living from it. People bought it because they wanted to see how bad he could make it. I've got a, oh, an example yeah. of one, the first part of one of his poems. He wrote a poem about a, a rail disaster. Uh, <laughs> Dundee's the Cambridge rail disaster, and uh, a lot of people died. We thought this is a good idea for a poem. Uh, so this is how bad it was. This is the first part of it. Uh, Beautiful railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. 
Alas, I am very sorry to say that 90 lives have been taken away oh on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. Uh, the, the worst part of that, it wasn't even 90 people died, it was 75. Uh, they added 15 deaths just to make his little rhyme work, <laughs> which makes it even worse, He's adding more misery to people. But yeah, he made money off of being terrible, which is the thing these days. So he's a this was the inspiration for Hogwarts. Oh, Edinburgh Castle, on Christmas Eve. Oh, look, at yeah. <laughs> look at the hordes of people. Yeah. <laughs> They're literally built into the rock. Port Cullis Gate from 1574 to St Mary's Chapel, the holy place, is the oldest surviving building in Edinburgh. Just looks, I don't know if it looks like snow in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> 